Alright, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Honors and salutations to all you Akim out there that's laboring in the truth and sincerity. Alright, without wavering. And um, it's going to be a, a show. It's going to title it the, uh, the Plagues of Egypt and much more. Because that's what's coming here to America, man. And that's what's happening. You know, in America, in the, in the scriptures, when you read in the Holy Bible, the Bible refers to America as Egypt. So America is the, is the new Egypt, if you will. When you read in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verse uh, 68, I believe, the last verse, where it speaks of, matter of fact, let me just, uh, since I'm mentioning it, let me um, pull it up, you know, because that's really actually speaking about America, man. I mean, there's tons of other different scriptures and passages in the Bible that make reference to uh, to to America as Egypt, you see? So now this is Deuteronomy 28, and, and um, the last verse, which, okay, I was right, it was 68. But um, anyway, it says, and the Lord shall bring thee, into, and when you read up, just speak about all the curses that will fall upon the real Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And primarily over here in America, where the boat came, where this prophecy right here was fulfilled, going into the, you know, the 1500, 16, by 1620, it was cemented, you know, but they was bringing slaves over here in America, which is the new Egypt, going back to the 1400s. Even some, you can find some traces of slave ships coming in the 1300s, if you look deep enough. But anyway, it says, uh, and the Lord should bring thee into Egypt again. With ships by the way wherever I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning our homeland, Jerusalem. And they tell you in Ephesians, Jerusalem, which is above, which is the mother of us all. And that's why that's always been such a hot land. People been fighting for that land. And none of them people really belong to the land, you know. But the real people, the Lord is going to return that land back to us. But the Lord said we wasn't going to see it no more. Because why? We was going to be brought into the Egypt by ships, meaning slave ships. Okay, it says, and which again, if you know anything about geography and everything, you don't need no ships to go enter into Egypt from Jerusalem. All right, it says, uh, and this is the you know, this is the kicker, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. So, where were we sold as bondmen and bondwomen, which means slaves, is here in America. So, that's just one reference just to, to go and show you about, uh, about America actually being referred to as Egypt, and so now these are this is um another plague, right? As you you see here from Reuters, it said huge swarms of locusts which have overwhelmed their natural predators, heading for Israel and India. So this is happening right now. You got this going on down in Mexico. So there's so much things that's happening right now, which is because of the time that we're in. We're in the time of judgment. All right. It says uh swarms of desert locusts are creating havoc. In large parts of Africa, the Middle East, and Asia, a UN humanitarian chief warned last month there is the risk of a catastrophe, with 12 million people in East Africa already face severe food insecurity, food insecurity, which that's the famine, you see, and we've been bringing bringing that out that the Most High is going to bring all these things to pass, man. We're living in a time of 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 the end, you see. And those are all prophecies, man. It says farmers in East Africa, Iran, and Pakistan are struggling to fend off swarms of marauding, marauding desert locusts. The locusts, is, they, they going for theirs, man. They taking whatever the fuck they want. They tearing them, the crops up, man. It said, which have wrought havoc with crops, see? That's what's happening over there. But that goes back because we're at the time of the end, man. The Mosai is bringing them plagues. You know, the Lord said he was going to do that. Now, that's, that's why I got over here. I had it on deck. And the spirit, I was talking with Apostle Ramlob the other day. And he he was, you know, he, he had mentioned something. We, we were speaking on something. And, and the spirit kind of hit me to do the topic. He said, hey, and he said, hey I see that that's going to be a topic. That's going to be a show you're going to do in the spirit. But, yeah, because it, it was fitting for the time that we in, you know, the time that we in. We got, like, with the coronavirus, which, Lord willing, I got some other 
you know, articles where now that thing, you got to track it because that's spreading so vast. So here it is. The Most High is the ultimate, man. He's masterfully bringing down Esau, bringing the end of the world, man. Way beyond how people thought it, man. That's why the scriptures say when the Lord returned, he should come as a thief in the night because people are sleeping, man. People are sleeping. And the Lord's destruction is gradually just boom. Came right up in there. And he used these devils, the so-called white man, to fulfill his will. You see? So now this is second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And that's very important to understand who the Lord's people are, man. Because you got these idiots in these church, in these Christian churches, these Baptist churches, these Roman Catholic churches, these Islamic uh, uh, mosques, and whatever they call it. They bug the fuck out. They don't know who the people of the Most High, of the Heavenly Father really are. The Lord's chosen people was and always will be Israel. All right. And the real Israelites was and always will be the, those of so-called Negro and Indian descent that you see. Period. You see us always with the, the sign which is according to the scriptures, the prophecy in Ezekiel 37 with the 12 tribes on it. Those are the people of the Lord. And we are, we constantly tell them the words of prophecy, man. We tell them to think, like it says in uh, Isaiah, let me get that real quick. And I'll come right back to there. The book of Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 42, right? We bring these, bring this out a lot. The Lord said, Isaiah 42 and nine, behold, the former things are come to pass. And see, just like it happened back during the time of Egypt, okay, and then other various uh, captivities that the Lord des destroyed the nations that was oppressing us, it's happening again. But this is the end, and this is going to be the greatest, uh, uh, the greatest destruction ever, man. You know, it's going to be the greatest destruction ever. It says, matter of fact, hold hold that right there. Let me go. Um, Uh, let's see, go Jeremiah 16 and right, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse uh, 14. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. See, and why is it not going to be said that no more? Because that's the most talked about event especially dealing with the the bible if you mention anything to a so-called historian or a bible scholar you know main thing i'm gonna tell you is about the flood during the time of noah was one of the most uh catastrophic events and then it's gonna they're gonna speak about uh the egyptians all right when the lord destroyed pharaoh you know and his chariots in the red sea that's why esau was looking at you know esau always has search parties uh, Jacques Cousteau and whoever else deep, you know, where they found actual remnants of the uh, uh, Pharaoh's chariot, his, his uh, chariots inside the uh, Red Sea to where they went searching for, uh, for Noah's Ark. Because those are two main events of the Mosai's judgment destroying the earth, laying that judgment down. So the reason why I said is, and, those, and we know that because it's still talked about to this day, even amongst all the other nations they have remnants of that history accounts of that happening you see and this was a big thing that's why the Mosai was known as Baal Shadia all right and the other nations they were in fear of the Mosai because of what he did to, to uh Egypt the Pharaoh in Egypt man all right the Pharaoh and the Pharaoh was on top of the world man nobody was stood the uh, Pharaoh back then you see he was the mightiest uh, uh king that was living back that, at that time and the Mosai broke him down and, and, and left him out there and showed that he was nothing but a, a, a PK bug, if you will. All right? The Most High brought judgment. We just throw that. Let me just throw that on. Uh, uh, you know, disturbance. But um, it says so. Verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. So that's what is going to be said. That's going to be the, you know, the, the new uh, uh, mantra. That's what's going to be the new story that, that's going to last for ages, eons. All right. Because why? The the uh, destruction of America is going to eclipse the destruction of Egypt. All right. The deliverance of the Israelites. All right. With, the, with starting with the elect of the Israelites is going to eclipse 
the, the uh, deliverance that the Lord saved us back during the time of Egypt. This is a big deal. This is, and that's why we, we're supposed to, you know, honor the, the um the Most High and give him give him his props. We're supposed to, you know, like we're coming into the Passover, right? And the Lord said we're supposed to do these things as a memorial, so we'll remember how the Most High gets down. The Most High is getting ready to visit this earth and make everybody know His name, man. Ain't gonna be no more speculations or none of that, man. All right, the Most High coming, He coming to take take off heads, man. That's what the Lord's about to do, just like back during the time of Egypt. But actually, that's gonna be light work, you know. It says, uh, "Therefore, behold, the days come which it no more be said. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord live, liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north." And from all the lands where I had driven them, see, not just North America, because North America is the main place. But he said for all the other lands where I driven them, because when you go back to Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter, the Lord said He would scatter us through the corners of the of the world. So you got Israelites that are amongst all these other nations, and that actually look like the other nations. That's why we say it because it's in the scriptures, man. All right, this is the most most size program. We we watching prophecy come to pass in real time man you know in real time it says uh whether he had driven them and i will bring them again to their land that i gave unto their fathers you see so that's the time period that we coming into so now this is just just to show you that you have this over here happening right which is going to cause what the locusts do when you see a whole lot of locusts that symbolizes uh you know, no no crops because they destroy your crops and they can't fight them off. It said a typical swarm contains up to 80 million locusts and even a small swarm could eat the same amount of food in one day as 35,000 people. So them locusts come like demons, man, like like parasites, you know? So imagine they come and hit up all the crops. There ain't going to be no food. People going to start killing themselves. A short, shortage of pesticides in Kenya it's hampering of efforts to contain the insects while Ethiopia is lacking planes and civil wars in Somalia and Yemen are making it difficult for widespread interventions. So you got nothing but chaos going on over there. The most I got the locusts up in there tearing up their crops in, in, in Ethiopia. You know, most I already dealing with them Somalians and everything for, for what they did, you know, to us as well. You know, they're not in, innocent. So this showing you the places where they're getting hit hard: Ethiopia, Kenya, Somalia, South Sudan, Uganda. This is Af East Africa's worst breakout. I mean, outbreak. Pardon me, it's Lakia, of desert locusts for decades. You see, why is this happening? Because it's happening because it's the end of the world. You see, I said locusts are considered the most destructive migratory pest in the world and are highly mobile traveling up to 150 kilometers a day you see what i'm saying so this is crazy man this is crazy he said they may reach egypt at the end of 2020 israel may be in about may india in may and july so these locusts are spreading just like the coronavirus so there's so many different other plagues different outbreaks different uh wars that are brewing, brewing. you know you still got certain wars happening then on top of that, the Lord is going to come right back in the middle of all that. And he's going to be destroying uh, the armies, man. All right, that's Revelation the 19th chapter. It said, which is outside their natural range. And they would not cross the Himalayas because the temperatures are too cold. You see? So here's a map of how, you know, how effective. this. And this is just the locusts. This ain't, we ain't even dealing with the, uh, the coronavirus yet, man. This is just a plague of locusts. But that goes back to the scriptures, man. You see, the Most High said he was going to do that. Let me go back to uh, where we was at. No. Second Ezra's 15. Second Ezra's 15. It says, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Meaning the words that the Lord said. And we, we know that they're faithful and true. Because they, we see it happening, all right? We see it happening, and we know that the history that the Mosai did this before. It said, fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And that's why, you know, scriptures tell you that it, 
What if some did not believe? Should they unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? The most high forbid. So, hey, they could sit there and not believe. And you're still going to have niggas being wicked and simple, killing each other, you know, uh, uh, coming and attacking the word, attacking the prophets all the way into the end, man. To the most high, scrape their ass off the earth, man. You know, because certain niggas, two thirds of our people, the scriptures say they become more wicked than the wicked. They're worse than the damn devil, man. All right. A nigga is worse than the devil. But the most high is going to get all these niggas, man. All these niggas that rejected the look, the word, all these niggas that were proud. All right. The Lord's going to lay all that down, man. It said, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, say the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. All right, so this is the Lord doing it because he did it. The proof is in the pudding, man. But what it is, they forgot the work of the Most High. They forgot that small work he made of Egypt, man. The Most High lit Egypt the fuck up, man. He was hitting them with all them plagues, man. And when you read about them plagues, matter of fact, I probably won't get a chance to go into all of them just in the interest of, of, of time. Uh, let me see if I could. I had, I had a one of the articles, right, breaking it down. Right, what are the 10 plagues of Egypt? You know, which they forgot about these things. Now, this is a, a site where they, you know, they list all the plagues, which, you know, you, they, they're in the book of Exodus, right? But um, we ain't going to watch no video on, on to it. So the list of the 10 plagues, right, which start from the book of Exodus, the seventh chapter, going into the to the 12th chapter, right, going into the Passover, was the, the blood, right? The Mosai turned the water into blood, contaminate the blood. And it, I mean, containing the water, which the water nowadays is poisoned anyway. It ain't just Flint, Michigan, and, and South Dakota, South Dakota, and North Dakota. There's a lot of other blood um, waters that are uh, contaminated. Frogs, all right, lice, gnats. Okay, the, hey, the most I could bring all those. You know, when the, when the spring comes, man, it's a lot of times a lot of different, uh, in, you know, insects and stuff, lice and 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 different insects, mosquitoes and stuff which carry disease and now you got the the uh pandemic of the coronavirus spreading all over the place you know which which is going to be worse than probably be worse than the um spanish flu in what was it 1918 and and the thing that's heavy about that when that plague happened it happened right in the midst of world war one that was world war one 1914 to 1919 so what it's, it's only fitting we're in in the midst of World War Three, pretty much, right? Because Russia and the United States, that's about to pop off, even though they keep, you know, it, it dies down here and there. But that's the, the scriptures. The scriptures say that it's going to do that, okay? It's just going to be like a woman in labor. You know, she has contractions one minute, then the next minute is normal. You know, one minute is like, oh, yeah, they're going to be, you know, together. They're not going to go to war with each other. Then they start saying, oh, we found out this about Russia, you know, the slander goes on. Trump start America's accusing everybody. No, no proof of nothing. All right. And that's why the, the scripture said that they shall hate the whore. Because why? These other nations are going to expose that the United States don't even deal justly, you know, according to their own laws. You know, because the white man's a devil. He don't follow. He just make his laws for you to follow him so he can keep uh, oppressing you and, and, and rape, robbing and murdering you. All right. The uh, livestock, which you see the cattle and everything. Shit is already cursed, man, because why? The so-called white man is a damn devil anyway, man. He done destroyed the crops. He didn't, he didn't follow and observe the land Sabbath so that the land could uh, uh, rejuvenate itself. You know, then he started feeding these, these animals, the livestock with all kind of, with candy, with, with all kind of bullshit, corn and stuff that they not smoke, you know, shooting them up with all kind of chemicals, man. The so-called white man is the devil. The scriptures say his soul, his spirit is not lifted. The spirit that's in him. It's not right in him, man. Because why? He's that's how he is. He's a damn diabolical demon, man. He'll 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 kill a million uh, monkeys just to try to find out a disease, to create another disease, and then to create the cure after he create the disease. You know, and that's nothing to him. And they'll they'll, they'll st start with rats. They'll kill a bunch of rats, mice, dogs. Right? The so-called white man is a real the humans, nigga. You know. Just to just to get, you know, the, the uh like what they did with cancer when they was creating cancer. They they tried it on what? Down in on the Ephraimites in, in the island of Puerto Rico. Okay, so the so called white man has been the devil and he's still the devil. He ain't gonna change the scripture say can a, a leopard change his spots? 
Neither can he that is accustomed to do evil do good. So you ain't gonna the so-called white man ain't gonna do no good. He ain't gonna sit there, you know, niggas really looking for reparations and looking for the so-called white man to hit. He ain't gonna hear them out, man. Just like Pharaoh didn't hear out Moses back then. All right, and, but which we know is the Lord. The Lord, when you read in uh, Romans, the eleventh uh, chapter, I believe, or the ninth chapter, the Lord said He hardened His heart. You see, well, just like this devil today, he saw the modern day Pharaoh. You see, that's why the, again everything is fitting because the scriptures speak about this being spiritual Egypt. So those plagues are back. All right, boils. Okay, and when 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 they all uh, had the boils, and that's why. The, the, the Mosai had him catch it, made it airborne, all right? And that's what Esau trying to be the Mosai, he, you know, because the Lord told Moses to throw the ash in the air and everything and made it get on everybody. Uh, that hell, hell storms, you know, we're going to have more hell storms. The locusts, you see, just like we're reading right now, the darkness, real thick darkness, and then ultimately the death of the firstborn, all right, which the Lord passed over the elect that had the... Uh, Land's blood on a they they post on the post of their door. Those are the only houses that that the Lord didn't enter. You see, so that that you think that's was back then that the most I can't do that again? You out your damn mind. And, and on top of that, the Lord's gonna have a lot of people getting grinded up by, by Esau, these these uh soldiers with these new weaponry, these super soldiers, all this man, look, the Lord is gonna allow Esau to unleash hell here especially in America, man, and wreak havoc with all of the, these different uh, new machines they got. He's doing it already with the biological warfare, all right, with the coronavirus and all that. That's leading into other different things. You had the, the hospital in China, they collapsed because they was, you know, they, they, and for the collapse, this must have been some old shabby-ass place where they said, oh, we're going to just corner, throw them niggas up in there or whatever the case is because Esau don't care. After a while, they, they run out of room. You know, there's only so many places you can put people, you know. But anyway, uh, going back to the scripture, it says, <coughs> verse 5, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, see, famine. And, and what those locusts do, they help uh, perpetuate that famine, too. So if you ain't got no crops, you ain't going to have, you know. Even though you got Esau making GMO food or whatever, and both that's that ain't gonna that ain't gonna do nothing. You see, death, right? And the people are dropping dead left and right. You got all these different the, that coronavirus too, man. Matter of fact, let me grab grab that real quick. All right, now this is on the coronavirus. Live updates: more than twelve hundred new cases reported in Italy in the past twenty four hours. And New York has 21 additional cases. Like every day, they keep coming up with more and more. So this is uh, today, March 7th, 2020. New York confirmed 21 new corona cases Saturday. And Italy reported that country's biggest daily increase in infections since the outbreak there began. The death toll in the United States reached 17 after Florida health officials reported two fatalities. The first in that state. You see, and, and this thing just keeps go, getting worse and worse. The one brother sent out the the, the, uh, the uh, message about what his father said in Seattle, how crazy shit is getting to the point where they're talking about with the sports event, banning people from coming to watch the sports events and, and just videotaping the, the sports events. So basically, they're going to sit there and play basketball games, soccer games, baseball games with nobody in attendance. Boxing, they're going to just box and Nobody's gonna have to watch it at home. You see, look at look at what look at the uh, the direction things are heading. All right, it don't look good, man. And we've been telling you these things for the longest that America is not gonna get fixed. It's not gonna last forever, and that the Lord is gonna bring these plagues and destroy this place. We've been telling you that it's gonna get ugly, and you know bad times are coming, man. All right, and then that's pursuant. And the reason why we tell you is because of what the scriptures say, man. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to go get another scripture real quick. Daniel's uh, 12th 12, 12 chapter. You always read this. Daniel's chapter 12 and 1. It said, and at that time 
shall Michael stand up? Now, speaking about Michael, the archangel, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. Again, thy people speaking about the Israelites. And when it says a time of trouble, this is the time we're coming into. It should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. So that's why I said this is going to eclipse what the Mosai did in Egypt because it said it's going to be a time that there, was never, that there never was since there ever was a nation. Meaning this is going to be the ultimate destruction. Those plagues of Egypt are coming. You got new plagues. You got new sicknesses, sicknesses that kill you right on contact. You got, uh, uh, then the scriptures say that there'd be spirits created for vengeance. You got wild beasts that are out there, right? You got all kinds of different animals out there. The most I got a uh, uh, bloodthirsty serial killers out there. More killers. Women again get raped and, and assaulted to the point where the police are not even going to be, be able to be there to, to help them. The, hell, the police are going to be under fire. A lot of them going to have plagues and have to be quarantined. They damn self, man. You see? You're gonna have, they're going to have to get shut down a lot of police stations to where the government is, the uh, military is going to come in and take over. See, we living in some some real ill times, man. And, and the scriptures say that the just shall live by faith, man. You know, everybody been sitting there like, you know, talking shit. Yeah, whatever. Y'all niggas going to die too. Y'all talking that shit. If that happens, no, that, not necessarily because the Lord said there's be some standing here that shall not taste of death. And then even if so, if that be our lot to die, we understand death. We know that the day that dying Yahweh Shai should be raised, man, at the first trump. So when Yahweh Shai come, which is not, if, if a brother pass now, it's going to be literally seconds. He's going to be right back in, boom. You know, any brothers that pass, they're going to come right right back in this thing. It's going to be like seconds that they were off the earth, man. You know? It says, uh, even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. See? So really, if you got any sense, you're supposed to be happy. That's why I call this a blessed time. In one of the other videos I did, you should be happy at all this chaos and everything that's happening. You know, even though yeah, we we don't catch hell, but then again, shit, ain't we accustomed to catching hell? Ain't we accustomed to getting the short end of the stick? Ain't we accustomed to always being under fire, being destitute, being, you know, starving and all all kind of sick and broke down? And ain't we accustomed to that already? You know, the brothers that are tr truly in the faith laboring, right? We, we've been bearing that cross ever since we came into the fold, man. Since the Lord brought us into the fold. So, you know, it's still a good thing because Yahweh Shai said that he was going to turn our sorrow into joy. And this is a joyous thing to see the Mosai actually work, man. All right? And declare the work of the Mosai that this is his judgment for our people not listening. All right? For Esau being the damn devil, the Mosai only gave him a, a certain amount of time that he could rule. Now his time is up. The Lord's coming back, and, and we should be happy because the Mosai didn't come back. Esau will fucking destroy everything and everybody, even his own goddamn self, man. All right? So it says, at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And guess who one of the main brothers found written in that book? Okay, which of course... Yahweh Shai is the deliverer, but guess who? John, John the Baptist. That's why Yahweh Shai spoke highly of him, because he's found written in that book. All right? So he, again, okay, for anybody that might not, might not get it, he never was not in the truth, man. You see? They tell you that the, uh, that the, the righteous are going to possess the truth forever, because the Mosai put it inside our, our inward parts, man. This ain't like something that you could go inside a mountain, the truth, and, and break open the the, 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 cake, the door or whatever and crack the lock and, and step over all the booby traps and then grab grab onto it like it's the holy grail. Oh, I got it. You know? Then somebody, a bird, come by, fly, and snatch it out your head. <laughs> nah, this ain't like that, man. The truth is either in you or it ain't, man. All right? It says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall await some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So the elect is going to go right into to the chariots and to the kingdom. All right. And, and come back in the, you know, the kingdom is going to be established on the earth. And then it's going to be summoned to everlasting contempt. And even the wicked amongst Jake, they're going to be ashamed. But overall, they're going to be delivered. They're going to come back as children, you know, because why? At the end of the day, 
everything is according to the most size program. You know, he gave everybody their lot. Everybody's just fulfilling they they um fulfilling their lot, you know. So even Esau, Esau is just he's supposed to be the devil. You know, the wicked two thirds, then they supposed to be wicked as all hell. And, and they supposed to, you know, they're gonna get their judgment. They're gonna die here in America. Then they come back in the kingdom as children, and then they're gonna be in a right mind, you know. It says, and they they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and even more so. And that's how the scriptures say, then shall be known who my servant is, because why? The elect is gonna have that glow, man. That spirit, the Lord's spirit's gonna be on the elect. And people, they're gonna know it ain't gonna be no question. It said, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. All right. So now going back to uh I'm gonna just finish up in Ezra. I mean, it, you know, there's so many articles and different things happening, man. And that's why I say we 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 at the end. We at the end, bro. All right. We here, we here at the at the end. It says uh verse six for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled yeah what, what you think the most i gonna wait for esau to try to launch transgenders and shit in space and all that nah come on man is that esau esau done done all this, the fucking fight you know and he's still doing the foul shit that he's doing man the most is ready to crutch this devil man therefore saith the lord i will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. That's speaking about the elect, the prophets, man. All right. And if therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them. And receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Yeah, the Most High is going to pick up that tab, man. He's coming back with payback. Everything that Esau did to us, the Lord's coming back. The Lord, he said, surely I will avenge them, man. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Which is what? Here in America. Meaning the Most High is not going to allow us to stay here. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm. See, and this happened already in ancient Egypt. So that's how we know this is speaking about America. And the Lord said he would bring them out with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, which Yahweh Shai is going to come with the biggest chariot of them all and the rest of the holy angels, man, and smite Egypt with plagues as before. So <laughs> locusts, okay, and all the rest of the plagues, man, the famines, the, the, the uh, livestock, you know, uh, uh, the death, you know, uh, 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 the different uh, uh, mosquitoes and stuff, you know, poisoning the water down all the way to the new, the other plagues, you know, the um, different these coronaviruses, these different outbreaks, the bubonic plagues, the the race riots, you you know what I'm saying? All all of these different plagues, the most I was doing that, man. It says, and smite Egypt with plagues as before. See, showing you, look, just like I did it back then, I'm going to do it now and will destroy all the land thereof. In America, it actually tells you that in the scriptures that America is not going to be dwelt no more. It tells you that Isaiah, the 14th chapter, and I believe it in the 13th chapter as well, goes into how this is just going to be like a place for the bittern and all type of desert animals, man. No longer is it going to be inhabited. It's going, this place is so, and, and, and you, I, I get it, man. I get it because really, man. America needs to be erased off the face of the earth. Like all, I mean, there's been wickedness throughout, you know, different kingdoms in the Roman Empire, you know, Pompeii and certain other cities and everything, Sodom and Gomorrah. So if the Mosai dipped, uh, uh, erased those, those cities, the, uh, what is it, the two cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, what you think the Lord going to do to a, a city such as America that's, even worse than Sodom and Gomorrah and those other five cities, you see? So it says, and will destroy all the land thereof, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Mosai shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for the sea shall fall through the blasting in hell, and with the fearful consolation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay, so with that, I'm going to end it there. Give all uh, 
glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, and, and say uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akim, Shalom.